I'm Tony Corey. I'm a professor in the Department of Urology here at UCI and the head of pediatric urology. Most of my clinical work is done over at the Children's Hospital called CHOC, which is Children's Hospital of Orange County. In the past, reflux was treated as a black and white condition. So everybody with, every baby with, uh, with a febrile urinary tract infection used to get a voiding cystiurethrogram. And then if they had reflux, they were all placed on prophylactic antibiotics and their voiding cystiurethrograms repeated periodically every 12 to 18 months. And if their reflux doesn't resolve in four years or so, they get an operation. And in my mind, this is a very outmoded way of managing reflux. Yes, some patients benefit from that, but about two thirds of the patients, A, do not need to be on prophylactic antibiotics after the diagnosis of reflux. And we've shown in some of the recent uh, uh, work that we've published that if you look at children with reflux, you can categorize them as children with low risk for progressive damage and children with higher risk for progressive damage. The children with, in the low risk category comprise about two thirds of the overall reflux population. Those children don't need to have uh, follow-up VCUGs and don't need to be on preventative antibiotics. They can be managed simply by making sure their bladder and bowel function is optimized and then they're watched um, conservatively and an ultrasound is obtained once a year to make sure their kidneys are growing and there's been no damage to the kidneys. Children on the other hand with uh, higher risk in the higher risk category should be managed more aggressively. These children need to be on preventative antibiotics and if they are one of the six or seven percent of the children that are in the have grade four and five reflux that are very high risk for recurrent infections, these children should have their reflux corrected right off the bat if they're over a year of age. So now we've categorized patients into a low risk category, a very high risk category, and an intermediate risk category. Nothing, preventative antibiotics and observation, and surgery. About 70% of the children will have nothing. About a quarter of the children will have preventative antibiotics and periodic ultrasounds and about five, six percent of the patients will have early surgery. Very different way of looking at a problem as a spectrum rather than black and white and managing everybody the same way.